Okay, we're halfway through the ECG course. Here's still in level one. We've covered fundamentals, rate, regularity, and P waves as units. We've got four more units to go. This one is the first lesson, first lesson in the measurements unit. We're going to talk about in this unit the PRI, the QRS, and QTC, the three things we do in measurements. When we do our ECG analysis thing, we use RPM, ABC, R being rate and regularity, P being is there a P wave for every QRS, QRS for every P, what are the P waves doing? March out the P waves. Then we turn to measurements and there's three things we're going to measure. The PRS, I'm sorry, the PRI, the PRI, the QRS, and the QTC. Those are the three things that we're going to measure. This one's on PRI and I want to again emphasize that we, for safety and accuracy's sake, don't like decimals. Decimals can get in our way, so we would like to talk about things in terms of milliseconds. And there's really two numbers that you need to know, 120 and 200. 120 and 200, that will serve you well for the PRI and the QRS. And most folks aren't even messing with QTC. We add that in because we do a PG course here for pretty good medics above the G-rated level. So that's where QTC comes in. That number is different. That number is 450 or 500, depending on how you want to look at it. But <clears throat> if you want to think about numbers, think about 120 milliseconds and 200 milliseconds. So the PRI, what is the PRI? Well, the PRI, what's happening during that time? That's when the atria have depolarized and contracted, and that impulse is being held in the AV node, the AV junction, in the Purkinje's. <clears throat> that is before the ventricles have been activated. It's that pause time to allow that atria to kick, pump, contract, stretch that ventricle and give us maximum stroke volume. Here again, overall, is what we're dealing with. You have the P wave. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You have the P wave where we have atrial systole, atrial contraction. The atria have depolarized. Then the atria reset during the QRS while the ventricles are depolarizing. And then the ventricles have fully repolarized by the end of the T wave. So if we were to measure some things, we would measure the PRI to see if that is too short or too long. And then we'd also measure that, uh, that QRS and then the uh, QT interval. So another good look at where the impulse is compared to the EKG. So look at the colors in the conduction system schematic. Compare those to the same colors in the ECG, in the P wave and the PR interval. The PR interval being from the start of the P until the start of the QRS. It's an interval, so it has a segment, the PR segment, and a wave, the P wave, the PR interval. What is it? Well, again, it's a wave and a segment. Segments are the space between waves. The PRI is going to contain that PR segment and the P wave starting at the start of the P and ending at the start of the QRS. Important stuff to know and to always remember. What is the normal length? Well, it's between 120 and 200. I told you there were two numbers to really keep in mind, 120 and 200, and that is the range. If it's less than 120, it's too short. If it's more than 200, it's too long. So we're looking at little boxes now, and each little box is worth 40 milliseconds, and so 120 would be three little boxes, and 200 would be five little boxes. A short PRI is less than 120. That indicates that that normal pause of the impulse didn't happen for whatever reason. There was too short of a pause time in the AV notes. The atria did not get to fully kick and stretch the ventricles. Typically, this is a short circuit. This is something that bypassed the AV node. Remember that the AV junction, the place between the atria and the ventricles, physically is fibrous rings. It's made up of fibrous rings that, uh, and fibrous tissue that support the valves, the valves between the atria and the ventricles. That's supposed to be insulating. That's supposed to cause that impulse to be funneled through the AV node. But if there were a short circuit, some tissue that grew across that fibrous barrier and created an accessory pathway or a bypass tract, then that could cause you a short PRI. We'll do a whole lesson on accessory pathways, bypass tracts, and the most common uh, disease condition called WPW, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. <clears throat> we'll do a whole lesson on that later. The other way you could have a short PRI, 
besides having an accessory pathway, if it's a junctional rhythm, if there just really isn't um, a normal P wave function, that P wave is coming, um, it's, it's being retrograde, it's being transmitted retrograde, in other words, backwards up the system. And so that P wave comes ahead of the QRS, but not the normal length because we didn't have a normal uh, sinus SA node atrially generated impulse. The impulse actually came out of the junction and went backwards, creating a PR, a, a P before the QRS or a short PRI. So two reasons to have a short PRI. One, you got a bypass track, one, you got a junctional rhythm. Hey, what about a long PRI? We want that impulse to pause in the AV node. We want that pause in the junction to allow for uh, contraction of the atria, but what if uh, that pause is too long? <clears throat> And so this is when there is a block in the AV node. A first degree AV block is uh, designated as a PRI of longer than 200 milliseconds. Now, sometimes that's no big deal. Usually it's no big deal. But it, it's a big deal to, because it, caused, it tells you there's a problem in the conduction system. Problems in the conduction system are not good. Problems in the conduction system can cause um, a number of impulses to not make it through <clears throat> in the ventricular rate to be too slow. So... First degree AV block is not usually a big deal right then, but it tells you that there is a problem in the conduction system. PR interval, again, normal rate, the normal range for the length of a PRI is between 120 and 200 milliseconds. Short PRI, either junctional um, beat or in its accessory pathway, long PRI, first degree AV block. That's PRIs.